Oh my god. All right, guys, what's going on? <laughs> Megan. <laughs> It's not on camera. Oh. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris and Megan. <laughs> that made such a weird sound. <laughs> anyway, stop laughing. We need to film. I keep thinking. Stop. <laughs> we're at Top Golf and we're meeting a few people here. So you guys are gonna tag along with us. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh. We'll see you inside. Yes! Scoring. scoring is the most important thing. All right, you guys. So my buddy here, me, me, trying to hit a golf ball through his golf club onto the court. There that fucker is. I can't believe you just did that. What? I can't believe you just did that. I can't believe I just did that. I, I can't believe I just did that. What do you have to say about that? I'm embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie. So gentle. I'm not letting that one go. You didn't throw the club. <laughs> yeah, we got a professional over here. Oh, right club. <laughs> This guy's too good, that's not even fair. <laughs> like, do something with your life. I'm so waiting for that, that cart to go see the club. Are you shooting specifically for the cart? No, I'm trying to just hit it really hard. How are you, Shannon? Okay, how are you? That was boring. <laughs> Recording, it's fine. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at it go. That went at least 10 yards. That was impressive. Oh, look at that. That was wonderful. I am very attracted to you. That's how we roll. <laughs> Why the fuck is there a club, yeah, there out, there here? A club out here? Sorry. So just a second ago, I, uh, I left work. Uh, so I just left work, I had to go in for like an hour or so, I had to finish some reports, but now I am free for the day. So let's do shit. All right, so let's see how this looks. I've got a selfie stick. Please don't mind the mattress, we're trying to sell it. Along with a special microphone for this camera, so you don't have to listen to just potato quality audio. It started raining like crazy though. I was gonna go out and shoot the ball. I'll take you outside just a second so you can see this. Nature. Boy. Clouds. Mother nature. Ridiculous. So I'm gonna figure out something else to do and what I thought of, I'm going to do something extreme. That's right. Extreme bottle flipping. So extreme. Don't need these. Shall we start this off simple? Easy. That was bad. Oh, that's even worse. Why is it going forward? I don't want it to go. Son of a basket! Nailed it. Oh, I gotta slow down that flip. Count it. Nailed it. Uh huh. This is quickly turning into like a soccer style bottle flipping. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from this point. All right, you guys, let's take a peek. You know what? It looks like it stopped raining enough for us to go shoot the ball. So I'm gonna do that now. That sounds like. A brilliant idea. All right, so we're at the fields. I'm gonna get all my stuff out there and we will hit the freaking 
goals, man. We're gonna we're gonna knock some shit home. It's gonna be a good time. All right, so we are headed out to the field, but first things first, potty break. Because I have to pee really bad. I have to pee so bad. I don't have to pee anymore. I'm just kidding, that's gross. You guys, this bathroom is so spooky. Oh my God. Oh, hey, it works today. guys we're finally out here it's not raining too bad so I should be able to get a few shots in today that's the ball over there I need to go get it all right boys today I'm gonna teach you how to shoot the perfect PK because uh, my right quad still hurts the shots are not there again which is really frustrating but that's okay I don't need a lot of power to do PKs so let's just jump right into this explanation first point to consider is the goalkeeper I don't have a goalkeeper today, so I figured I'd talk about that first. Basically, when it comes to the goalkeeper, he's going to try to psych you out as best he can. Every good goalkeeper does it. So you have to come up with a psychological way to combat that situation. There are a few things you can do. One, you can act cocky, go shake his hand, give him a pat on the back, make him feel loved. Number two, you can ignore him completely. Don't make eye contact, don't look anywhere, don't even talk to him. Just get to your stuff and do it. I, I didn't know what words to say. And number three, you can act nervous. Personally, I don't recommend this one because a lot of times it translates into being nervous. But if you act nervous, the keeper's gonna think that and going right down the middle is generally where people go when they feel nervous. All right, so with those three things in mind, that's something you have to accomplish by yourself. I can't personally teach you how to do those things. You just have to do it. So now we're gonna jump into the shots. All right, so now that we've covered the basic first impression of the PK, we need to decide where we want to shoot it. You have these two upper 90s, you have these two lower 90s, and you have right down the middle. You have several options of where you want to shoot. So we're looking at any of these targets. Now with any PK, you have the walk-up, which is where you want to place the ball. The referee will hand you that ball and you need to decide how you want to put it down. Oh, thank you, sir. S on top of the morning to you. Let's have some tea and crumpets after the match, all right? Personally, at this point, this is where I like to decide where my shot is going. So by the time I'm putting it down, I know exactly where I'm going. Now, where you strike the ball is a very important aspect. You have side foot, you have top of the foot, and you have the arch. Generally, when hitting with the inside of the foot, it's going to give a spin opposite of the foot you're kicking with. So if I'm hitting it with my right, it's going to spin to the left. If I'm hitting it with my left, it's gonna to spin to the right. This is something very important to take into judgment when you're taking your PK. All right, so the first PK I'm gonna take is going to be with the inside of my right foot. Notice that the spin will take it a little bit to the left of where I'm actually placing the ball. All right, so now I'm gonna hit it with the arch of my left foot. Notice the straight line accuracy as you hit it with that arch. All right, so now I'm gonna shoot with the laces of my right foot. Notice the power that you can get out of a shot like this. But your plant foot absolutely has to be pointed in the right direction. Otherwise, this shot is gone. Oh, see, like that. That'll do. One more thing to remember as you're taking these PKs, the run-up is not important. None of these goopy little stutter steps or sprinting up or long jogs. If it's not in your comfort range, I would recommend not doing it. Focus on the shot, focus on the technique. More than likely, those stupid little steps are only gonna make you look dumb and they're not gonna fool the keeper. I know that doesn't hold a lot of weight with today's young players, but it's just dumb and it looks bad. Just score the goal. 
it's fine. You have a huge chance of scoring it. You don't need some stupid gimmick. I'm gonna get back to shooting now because I'm tired of telling you guys what to do and how to do it. You guys want to see this ball bend and dip into the corner, don't you? Me too. Oh! Oh man. <laughs> oh, not enough. Uh, it's kind of what I wanted. It wasn't where I wanted it. <laughs> 